is Clarence Thompson, MB, and we have concerns about the community, about the relationship with the police. Today is about remembering the death of Sean Riggs that that happened is in 2008. And we've got a verdict which actually blames the police and actually blames the IPCC for his poor investigation. Now, one minute silence for Sean. Thanks guys for coming. This is a dual thing. I mean, it's, it's not, it is for Sean, it's a short memorial. So you remember it, Sean. You also remember it, all others that have died in his custody. People have been quite drawn to this tree because there's been a lot of deaths in this police station. And you know that right now, funny enough, a lot of the community don't know that there's no, this station is closed. This custody suite is closed. Did you know that? Yeah. £10 million pounds refurbishment. Worth the refurbishment, yeah? We told the Commission if you can find £10 million pounds to refurbish Brixton Police Station, you can find £4 million to put cameras in every police yes. station. Yes. 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 Sean's, Sean's mother, Marie, would like to say a few words. Please give, just a, please give her first a big round of applause first. I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming. Um, it's been tremendous all the support we are getting, and I just we just have to continue the struggle and fight for justice, not just for Sean, but all the others um, have, and families that have died in police custody. They need to be held accountable for what they've done, and um, the struggle goes on. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. The Rick family have throughout been um, incredibly strong. Uh, I've only worked in this borough since January and I've had the privilege of meeting um, members of the Rick family on a number of occasions. Um, when I came here, I, I never worked on this borough before. I've had nothing, no, no connection with the Rick family. I've been um, really pleased to offer them my services to start looking at how we can progress things and move things forward. Um, and I think you know, it's really important that we learn the lessons from the inquest and we look to, to develop the way we, we operate and the way we work and I'm really, really keen to do that um, with the advice and guidance and, and help of the uh, family. Okay, my name is Minka Adolfo. I'm one of the oh, I'm one of the founder members of the United Friends and Families campaign. Where it's a coalition of families who've come together to get justice against the killing of their loved ones. I'm also a member of the Pan African Society Community Forum, and we've come to the meeting. I've come to the meeting today in support of the Riggs family, who have, as you may know, have just come out of an inquest in which that the coroner refused to give the jury the option of coming back with an unlawful killing verdict and also a neglect verdict. And we think that this was a total disgrace. <laughs> Thank you.